All right, guys, we got more breaking news. Things are getting more wilder and wilder. The end of the Catholic Church as we know it, as the Pope is arrested and charged with being a pedophile. Okay, um, the link that I put in my description of the other video was deleted. Uh, I got multiple people saying they now they believe it is the truth because it's been deleted. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Okay. Donald Trump has signed the Insurrection, Insurrection Act, okay, which gives the military power to keep Donald Trump in office. Looking at the information here. Democrats have laid groundwork for impeaching again. So you have to ask yourself, why would the Democrats try to impeach Trump if he's only got 10 days left? You know why? I'm going to tell you why. Because the Democrats know, the Democrats in Congress, they know something. Now, uh, Pence is not going to, going to inflict the 25th Amendment to get Trump out of office. That's not going to happen. But I got intel. Trump is going to sign Insurrection Act. Uh, CNN is seeking to destroy Fox News forever. The end of the Catholic Church is the Pope has been arrested. And General Michael Flynn to be appointed Vice President Mike Pence to resign. This is big news, people. Breaking fucking news. Uh, more arrest in Capitol Breach. Up to 80 arrested now. Family members of Trump supporter trampled to death and riots at Capitol say President is to blame. Okay, yeah, we got a lot of shit going on. Donald Trump has signed the Insurrection Act. General Michael Flynn is going to be the appointed vice president. We have three aircraft carriers off the coast of China. We got a lot of shit going on here, man. Oh my god, this is fucking him. If you own stock in Amazon and Apple, cash it out immediately as the stocks are going to plummet due to Amazon banning parlor app and apple banning the parlor app from its iphone parlor app is struggling to survive now they're gonna end up just like gab where they're gonna be struggle to survive you know what i'm saying lots of shit going on the catholic church is coming to an end uh, a lot of shit going on north carolina issues statewide 10 p.m curfew California issues travel advisory. You're not allowed to travel more than 120 miles from your home. Shit's getting real. Quebec, Canada has issued an 8 p.m. curfew with police 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. People cannot leave their house. Police roaming the streets trying to find curfew violators. A lot of shit going on. Nancy Pelosi says that the House will move with articles of, impe of impeachment if Trump does not immediately resign. Now, why would they do that if he's only got 10 days left in office? I will tell you why. Because they know something. But here's also what's going on. Here's what might be going on. Some of these elites that are seemingly to get arrested are not actually getting arrested. They're looking to get her there it looks like they're getting arrested and they're actually going into hiding in their bunkers as the world gets ready for the release of another type of virus that's going to be worse than COVID-19 and shit's really going to hit the fan and the elite's going to hide in their bunkers so it looks like they're getting arrested when they're actually being taken away and hiding in their bunkers so I'm trying to get more stuff on the Pope arrest. Uh, if he's actually hiding in a bunker, if it's fake. My last video, the description, it was, it was the link was taken down. So I must be on to something. Okay. So I don't know. I might have to go to BitChute because they might lock my YouTube channel. A lot of shit going on, man. Things are getting crazy. So...
Yeah. Also in the news, scientists say the Earth is spinning faster than it has in decades. Wow, this is big. Okay. There's also been word that Donald Trump might start his own social media apps. I don't know, but have you ever what were have you ever wondered what COVID nineteen means? Well, the C in COVID stands for a biblical god named Aladdin, I think, or something like that from back in the day. Ovid in the Bible means sheep. The number nineteen in the Bible means slaughter. So we had Ovid nineteen. Okay, that means slaughter the sheep. Ovid means sheep. Nineteen means slaughter. So Ovid 19, slaughter the sheep. In the Bible, it talks about slaughtering the sheep, sacrificing the sheep. Okay? And then you got the letter C for the biblical God. So this shit's getting real. So they're set to release a new virus on the human population. This is going to be more deadlier than the COVID-19 virus and these new strains of the COVID-19, how it's how it's manipulating and uh and transforming it into something, you know. But yeah, shit's getting real, people. So Donald Trump to, is going to sign... Yeah, I guess he signed it yesterday. The Insurrection Act to stay in power. Other world leaders are going to see him as a dictator. Which is perfectly fine with me. Because he's trying to save this country from the Democratic Socialist Chinese takeover of the Democratic Party. Okay? That's what he's trying to do. We are being, being invaded virtually by China. Okay? China. First it was the virus. Now it's the political virtual takeover. The election takeover. Uh, many arrests in Italy. So Donald Trump's going to sign the Insurrection Act to stay in power. And he has the right to do so. It's in the Constitution. If we're being invaded by foreign government. Which we are. We're being invaded by China. You're just not seeing it. Right? You dumb libtards. You know, watching the fake stream. Make late stream media. Anyway, uh, yeah, breaking news. A lot of stuff going on. Are you serious, people? Anyway, uh, more news coming up in due time. I will keep you guys posted if I find out any more details. This is Raging Rob. If you receive this transmission, you are the resistance against government tyranny. <laughs>